children. Today, Abby's going to read you one of my favorite stories. It's called The Little Red Hen and the Grains of Wheat. So let's see what it's all about. The Little Red Hen and the Grains of Wheat. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who lived in a farmyard. And there she sits, stands on the wall, all proudly in her farmyard, with her beautiful comb on her head and her lovely reddy brown feathers. One day, the little red hen found some grains of wheat. She took them to the other animals in the farmyard. There the grains of wheat she found after they had ploughed the field. And she thought, I know what I'm going to do with those. Who will help me plant these grains of wheat? Asked the little red hen. She's asking the rat and the pig and the cat. Oh, not I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. Oh, not I, said the pig. Oh, they all, there goes the rat, there goes the pig, there goes the cat. No one wants to help the mother hen. Then I shall plant the grains myself, said the little red hen. And so she did. Look, she's scratching in the earth. She's planting her little grains of wheat nicely. Some of her feathers are even coming out. But she's working so hard because she has got a plan. Every day the little red hen went to the field to watch the grains of wheat growing. They grew tall and strong. Oh, look at this lovely wheat. And in the background there's a little windmill. Very far away. One day, the little red hen saw that the wheat was ready to be cut. So she went to the other animals in the farmyard. Look, she wants to ask if they can help, I think. Look how beautifully they're growing. Strong. Who will help me cut the wheat? Asked the little red hen. She's asking the rat and the pig and the cat again. Oh, not I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. Not I, said the pig. And off they all went. Look, no one wants to help her. And looks like the farmer is working hard trying to get the cow into the, into the stable, looks like, onto the, to, to milk or something. Maybe they're doing, they're putting him to bed for the night. Then I shall cut the wheat myself, said the little red hen. And so she did. With a sharp knife, she's cutting all the wheat down. The wheat is ready now to be made into flour, said the little red hen to herself as she set off for the farmyard. And there she goes. It's all tied up nicely together and she's going to see who will help her? Who will help me take the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Asked the little red hen. Do you think anyone wants to help her? Let's see. Oh, not I, said the cat. Oh, not I, said the rat. Not I, said the pig. They were too busy doing their own thing. And the poor mother hen was left with no help. Then I shall take the wheat to the mill myself, said the little red hen. And so she did. And there she is at the mill with her lovely bundle of wheat. The little red hen took the wheat to the mill and the miller ground it into flour. There is the miller. There he is. And there she is taking the wheat to him. And he was very kind to help her. 
When the wheat had been ground into flour, the little red hen took it to the other animals in the farmyard. Look, it's a nice little bag, nice hessian bag full of lovely flour. And off she's running so fast she wants to get to her friends and see who's going to help. Who will help me take the flour to the baker to be made into bread? asked the little red hen. There they all are. Oh, not I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. Not I, said the pig. They're too busy doing what they need to be doing. The cat is drinking milk. The pig is feeding her babies. There's the little piglets. Oh, there's lots of them. And the rat is jumping into the pen. I'm not sure what the rat's going to go and do, but he doesn't want to help at all. Then I shall take the flour to the baker myself, said the little red hen. So she did. And look, there she is at the door of the baker, and the kind baker man is wanting to know how he can help her. The little red hen took the flour to the baker and the baker made it into a lovely bread. Look at that beautiful bread. She's waiting so patiently. And there are all the other loaves of bread waiting to be sold. When the bread was baked, the little red hen took it to the other animals in the farmyard. There she is with a lovely bag from the baker man. He's waving goodbye. And now let's see what happens. The bread is now ready to be eaten, said the little red hen. Who will help me eat the bread? Off she goes. Now let's see. Is anybody going to help her this time? I will, said the cat. Oh, I will, said the rat. Oh, mm, I will, said the pig. They all want to now eat. After not helping, now they want to eat the bread. I wonder if they're going to have anything from the little red hen. No, you will not, said the little red hen. I shall eat it myself. And so she did. If you don't want to help with the preparation or the work of something, you cannot share in eating the lovely food after it. So that is the end of the story. The little hen, the little red hen ate it all by herself because no one wanted to help her bake the lovely bread. And so that is the end of the story. And we need to remember if we want something, we need to do the work and help to create whatever it is we want. Thank you for the fairy tale.